So you want to know everything there is to know about beekeeping, beehives and honey in Minecraft. Well look no further because I'm going to keep this nice and short and try to be as clear as I can. Here is my complete Minecraft beekeeping guide. First let's talk about how to find bees. There are 8 biomes in Minecraft where bees nests will naturally generate attached to trees. In order to find bees there needs to be a bees nest present. The meadow biome is by no exception the best biome for finding bees. All of the trees that grow in this biome on both Bedrock and Java edition will generate with a bees nest attached to them. This biome can be identified by its flowers and grassy terrain along with its low amount of trees. The other biomes that you can search for bees and bees nests are sunflower plains, plains and mangrove swamp biomes. Each tree in these three biomes has a 5% chance of generating with a bees nest. The other four biomes where bees can spawn being flower forests, forests, birch forests and old growth birch forests have such a low chance of generating bees nests that I would not waste your time searching them. Once you have found a bees nest you can begin using the bees to farm honeycomb and honey bottles. These are the two items which bees can be used to produce. First we need to understand the difference between a bees nest and a bee hive. A bees nest is where bees can be naturally found and cannot be crafted by the player. While a bee hive can be crafted by the player using any 6 wooden planks and 3 pieces of honeycomb. You can get the honeycomb to make a bee hive by waiting for the bees nest to fill up with honey and then using some shears on it. Both blocks behave in the same way by housing the bees and being a source of honey, but if you want to start a big bee farm you'll need to craft beehives to nest all of the bees. Now how do we farm honey in Minecraft? Once you've found yourself a bees nest you can take any kind of flower and lure two bees away wherever you want your bee farm to be. Place down a beehive and the bees will recognise it as their new home. Now you need to make sure there are flowers placed down outside of the beehive. These can be any type of flowers and the more you have the faster the beehive will fill up with honey. This also applies to breeding bees. The more bees you have per hive, the faster the hive will fill up with honey. To breed bees and create a bigger swarm, you just need to find two adults and feed them any kind of flower to create a baby bee. Once you have your first beehive with at least two bees and a couple of flowers, you can open the data menu and read right here the level of honey that the beehive has. Level 5 means the hive is ready to be harvested and you'll be able to notice this because there will be some yellow splodges on the outside of the hive. You can either use glass bottles or shears on the beehive depending on what you want to collect. Using shears on the hive will give you 3 pieces of honeycomb and using a glass bottle on the hive will give you a bottle of honey. This also applies to a bees nest and you can use this to collect the original honeycomb that you need to make your first beehive. Now we need to talk about campfires. Campfires release smoke when lit and when this comes into contact with a bees nest it calms the bees down and stops them attacking you when you either collect honey bottles or honeycomb. It's not guaranteed that the bees will attack you if you harvest honey without a campfire underneath the beehive, but having a campfire underneath the beehive will make harvesting the honeycomb or honey a lot more straightforward. You will also need to place something over the campfire like a trapdoor to stop the bees flying into it. Campfires will damage mobs that touch it and that includes bees. Therefore I would recommend having a campfire one block into the ground, a trapdoor covering it and a beehive placed above. Then circle the beehive with flowers and have 4 or 5 bees farming pollen. Once you have this set up you can very quickly expand your honey farm, collecting honeycomb and using it to craft more beehives. Now let's talk a little bit about the uses of honey. I mean why farm honey if it's of no use to you? Using string and honeycomb you can make candles. They offer quite a dim but unique way of lighting up a room. Honeycomb blocks can be made with 4 pieces of honeycomb and now we get onto waxing copper. Honeycomb combined with a copper item will stop it from oxidising any further than its current state. So if there is a particular shade of copper that you like, you can essentially freeze it in its current state. Four honey bottles can also be combined to make a honey block, which is especially useful for redstone machines. One honey bottle will also give you three pieces of sugar. And that's about everything you need to know. If you like my guides then drop a like and subscribe to the channel since less than 1% of people who see my videos are subscribed. I'll see you all next time.